Bellman, uh, you got Mentok here. Uh, our typical commentators are out. I'm just stepping in for a little bit. Uh, I'm still in bracket, so I might have to play. Um, for anyone who hasn't been, you know, I, I know there's no commentators up here, so no one's probably explained it to you, but we are doing a best of five all the way through the tournament, uh, which is pretty interesting. And at top four, we're going to do best of seven, which is going to be very interesting to see. Um, so far, I've been paying attention. I haven't noticed too many times where the best of three or the first of three has mattered, except for in my match. Uh, but that's not what's on right now. Uh, we're dealing with uh, Jordi Avis and Giga Itachi. I think this is actually a rematch uh, from one of the past weeks. They were in grand finals together. Uh, I feel like Jordi Avis had a pretty clear advantage in that one. Um, so we're going to see what Giga Itachi's learned uh, since last time. Uh, nothing much so in this first round. Uh, Milia kind of just walking all over him. Dancing in the air as she does. Very clean play. Her mobility is just excellent. And Doryevs is great at using mobility characters. He's just, like, that's that's where he looks. I'm pretty sure this was his first choice. And then he picked Zato because Milia wasn't great. Uh, she did get buffed this last patch, though. So it totally makes sense that he's... Giving her a spin. Especially, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Is this going to be a perfect? Come on, Giga. You got this. There you go. There you go. Hashtag not a perfect. I'm going to eat that mix, though. Wasn't a perfect, though. That's all that counts. Also, still, that's only game one. All right. Dory Davis needs to win three total before this is over. So there's a lot of adjustment time. Let's see what Giga does with it. All right, he's playing a little patient, okay? Trying to, trying to fish out Milia's, Milia's bad calls in neutral. Uh, it's, it's hard just because Milia's so mobile that when you try to, you try to out footsies her, it's, it's a little tough just because she can get places you can't faster than you can typically. And her reward is just kind of oppressive, if we're being fair and honest. All right, jump H. Clipping in neutral. Okay, Lush Shaker. Shaking about. I think that's the move name. Lush Shaker. Alright. Ooh, big counter hit. Knockdown. See what he gets off it. Gets the stun edge. Or whichever move that's called. I don't know any of their names. Electricity. Okay. Ooh. The air flower. Ooh, into the red cancel. Oh, it was, that was an unfortunate drop. That would have killed too. All right, trying to just chip it out. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah, that slide move from uh, Kai is really unsafe, so that was a big gamble on his part. Ooh, the Lush Shaker. Smacking him a few times. Getting mixed. Uses his burst. Um, I guess that's fair, but I feel like he it, it would have been better to hold on to that burst just a little longer. He really needs to make some big plays this, this round. You can't afford to be down 2-0 against Dory Avis. Okay. Playing air footsies. Again, I don't I don't like I don't like trying to out footsies her. You know. You kinda gotta you kinda gotta run her over. Yep. And there it goes, wall break. This is looking pretty bad for Giga right now. Let's see what he can make happen. Left. Ooh. He just mistimed that grab so bad. That sucks. That would have that would have grabbed her too. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, he wasn't ready for the the block stun timing. Giga's just not having it. Look at his face. <laughs> All right. Quick cross up. Yep. And it's looking like Dory Davis has got a, a pretty good read on on how Giga's playing right now gonna be up to Giga to really really turn this around Ooh, you can't be you can't be taking uh running into 2d against Melia that's her main damage source okay I don't know if I if I like if I like that pressure after the mix after the RC but yeah it's looking like Giga's a little cracked right now you know, it, it happens sometimes, especially against Millie. Millie's a very frustrating character. Okay, he's not giving up though. I do, I do, I do really respect that. I like that. 
because you have to you have to fish out every single opportunity you can get. Because Giga can completely turn this around with two straight rounds, and then he's back in the running. Oh, the tip of the flower catches him. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, that's such a rough situation to be in. Oh no, the big counter hit. Okay. Oh, 6P, right through it, grab, okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, the low into the wall break. Okay. All right, what do you got for uh, for safe jump? No safe jump? Okay, that's fine. You don't need a safe jump. Woo! Oh, just barely missed that conversion. That definitely would have killed. Oh, he's got his burst. He needs to make use of all of his resources right now. Oh, he, I, I don't think he, I don't think he rea realized he had a burst. He was just so out of it at that point. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. That's a real feels bad moment. Oh, but I mean, well played. Uh, Giga did a great job, but Dory Avis is just so, he's such a powerful player. Um, he's of course, he's been, he's won at like three or four Xanadu's, I think, at least. Uh, he, he doesn't always come out, but when he does, he's he's up there. 